This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. is the wrestling mayhem show episode 595 tuesdays we've been celebrating professional wrestling and funny headgear sometimes i'm mike sorgat sorgatron on the twitter here in the beachview neighborhood of pittsburgh pa sorgatron media studios right on the street right on the tracks passers by seeing this insanity goes on here on tuesday nights with me we got a we got a hell of a crew here tonight uh first of all we do have uh from the well well, no there we there you go the mean streets of michigan uh larry wow Wow. mean streets of michigan i don't know i I live in crafton sir (laughs) i guess you're from the mean streets of michigan show us on the hand show us on the hand where he's from there he goes right there right there right in the middle of the palm lower palm area of michigan there you go mutilator larry is with us tonight hello Hello. How are you doing? Yes. Also with us from El Paso, Texas. It's been so long. Antonio Garza of the WrestlingRevolution.com joins us. No, that's not you. Hey. There it is. Antonio Garza. It's it's been a while. Like I feel like I've been in developmental for a while. Yes, yes. We sent him to the main roster. <laughs> we sent him back to to WMN, w, WMNXT, WMXT. Yes, that's it. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, of course, you joined us recently uh, with our discussion with Krista Joseph, of course. Indeed, I've been doing my meet and greet on uh, the, 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 the Joseph episodes. Yes, absolutely. Great to have you back on here as part of the show. And also with us, there's a little glimpse if you're on the video, because I don't know how to switch tonight. Bert Legrand is joining us, or Enzo Legrand. He is the it's a look. It's a look. <laughs> executive yes. ring exactly. announcer yes. right. of the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. That's right. <laughs> You're which looking, is a title? Why are you at me funny? Which is a title that you were bestowed this last That's show? Right. Yes, you are also the only ring announcer for the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. But I'm also the executive. But announcer. he's also the executive. So, so get that part right. Put that together for you. There have been other announcers though. I forgot I met one as I was walking in here. So. Yes, yes, you did. You're yeah. the former announcer. So to historically us speaking, guests. even yes. though I'm the executive, historically speaking, I'm not the only. Yes. Well, hey, you know, for longevity, that's what you get. Right. Congratulations. That's right. So, tenure. It's tenure. It's tenure. Absolutely. You're, you're like the Lillian Garcia of RWA. I could very well be the Lillian Garcia of RWA. Are you going to put out an album? Is that what's going on? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I'd buy it. You, you. Uh, you buy it? Yeah, no problem. Is it a spoken word? Is it singing? Is it... Are you wearing that hair piece? It's a little bit of both. Yeah, this is for the visual. Yeah, yeah, yes. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Sorry, audio listeners, but... Yeah. It, damn. It, it's a look. It's... it's a, yeah, it's a look, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do wigs that often, and you probably wonder why. At this point. I love how it's moving no. forward into your face. That's right. It's, so it's, we can see less of you. It's the proceeding hairline. Yeah. <laughs> so We're only all so lucky, right? Yes. Uh, but anyways, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And we're live here every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Most of you join us here in the Facebook Live. A lot of you guys like Dave and Brandon and Wheels and Tina out there hanging out and having a good conversation and let us know what's going on on all the wrestling that's happening tonight in addition all this counter programming that wants to take the mayhem down but it's not going to happen yeah. mayhem nation damn it Never. we're still here and we're going to st- be loud and proud and mayhem uh but anyways you can check us out uh uh every tuesday night 10 p.m like i said or you can subscribe to us on itunes sister speaker iheart radio or google play podcast as well as um, over on the video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please join our Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Props to our intro music by our buddy Basic Sickness. So go uh, look him up and check out the new album. And uh, also thanks to our streaming partners, the405media.com. Uh, where they've been carrying us at uh, 9, 9 p.m. 
Pacific time, midnight Eastern, every Ooh. seven days a week, you can catch up wow. and be put to sleep by Mayhem Tones. The dulcet mayhem tones. Dulcet mayhem tones of some sort. The dulcet tones of Burt Legrand. There you go. That's right. There you go. The song stylings. The dulcet tones. Mm hmm. The latest, the greatest, the decent, the recent. I need to adjust the camera again because your hair's too high. Well, I think. I, how about if I just take the hair off? No, no, no. Leave them on. No, no. Leave, leave it on. on. Leave it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. Keeps me warm. It, keeps, it does keep you warm. Yeah. yeah. It's it my is, winter fur. Is, you're going to find that hair forever. I didn't realize uh, it sheds. I'll walk yeah. it out with me. Yeah. I don't know about that. You might make some friends outside I think so. with that. I mean, that's like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, just wave it at people. Right. I is love it. it. Oh, is my it, God. Is the door locked? That's back. What? I thought I was going with that. What? The Groot. What about Groot? Dan's a Groot. Yeah, Dan's a Groot. Oh, man, that scared me, that one RWA show. <laughs> Remember that? I was scared. He kept waving my face. It was so scary. <laughs> what? I don't like, Were you there for that? I, I, well, yeah, it's my yeah. group. So, yeah, I think so. And it was dancing I with wheels. I was that close. Yeah, yeah right, it's, it's right, with wheels, right? It's, it's right there. God, Are you okay? Is, the, is the hair getting to you? No. I just <laughs> oh, jeez. I just noticed that right there. Uh, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, right. also, thanks to our Patreon supporters. We'll get to that. Uh, our fans of the show at the dollar level, Bo Diggity. Woo. Uh, our buddy Ed Burke, Bobby F. J-Town. At the $5 Pocky level, those guys are getting the uh, crazy... Uh, Mayhem Show Gold, including some uh, midget wrestling stories from Virgil Legrand. That's right. Uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Power to the Smarks on the Twitter. Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club, $10 level, our main man, uh, Billy Effin Johnson, uh, who I understand might be uh, rolling into the studio here in the coming weeks. Uh, they get the state of the show uh, uh, as well as all the other perks. And also, we do have available at $20 lit manager level uh, where you guys can be uh, an executive producer of the show, manager. And uh, you also get a special exclusive digital download from our partner, IndieWrestling.us, each month that you're a part of that. So a ways to support the show and literally keep the lights on here and keep us in fancy hairdos like Burt Legrand. So uh, we have an interesting smattering of uh, uh, news this week. A lot has happened. Of course, if you guys were, uh, you know, checking out things, you know, before the stream, uh, the news got spoiled, of course, on WWE.com since we were at the UK and there's these pre tapes this week. But we did have uh, for a second a WWE title win. AJ Styles uh, beat Jinder Mahal tonight um, or earlier today. It depends on how, where, I don't know, time is relative, right? Um, <laughs> as far as that goes, uh, but he's the new champion. He's going to be taking on Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, which allegedly there's al one more. Allegedly, week left. there is one yeah. more week left, but still, I think it's a case of the WWE coming to their senses. Yeah, you think and, so? And realizing, they're playing real, all the time. realizing what they had and realizing what they had, and really just coming. Uh, Vince finally just, read the creative, right? Yeah, like, yeah, what the hell is this? What are we doing? Well, I, mean, I think that the gender experiment, it, it was nice, and it, you know, it's it's a good character. It's a good. It's a good story, but it, it's also a one-note story. I mean, we've seen every Jinder Mahal title defense, yeah. and you can only do so much with that. Right. And the only appeal to a Jinder Mahal Brock Lesnar title match is how far into the sun could Brock Lesnar shoot the Singh brothers? Yeah. Really, at yeah. this yeah. point. So, you know, at least AJ Brock is something interesting, something mm -hmm. novel. Mm -hmm. Something different. What do you think, Garza? Uh, well, I, I was really surprised that I... Because we know we still have the, the India tour coming up like in some weeks. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really expecting AJ to, to win the title. I figured they were just going to like do some other shenanigans and, and let things run their, their thing. Mm -hmm. And and also, it's going to be interesting to see where AJ goes with the title because he also kind of run wild over a lot of people in his last run. So I don't know what's going to happen to him after... Brock Lesnar happens. Um, it was brought up last night on the show on, on the Raw wrap up. I, I think Mike had said, um, like, oh yeah, AJ AJ wins it so that like gender wins it back at a uh, in a live show in India, and which is fine make, makes news, which is which is great. Like, yeah. please, yeah. actually, actually, but yeah. I, yeah. I think in the short term though, I mean, this is definitely the the pay per view where they're going for it. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting Survivor Series itself sells. Yeah. And you know now you have this match, this must see match with Brock and AJ. You also have most likely the the must see six man with the Shield and the New Day. So I mean they're putting a lot of stuff on the table with this match, and they've been doing that a lot lately. Mm -hmm. And I think they realize that sort of that that's sort of the must see element of everything. We've got the Cena Rain stuff, and you've got Cena Knock, and some of the other matches. They they put a lot of dream matches on the table 
in the past, you know, three, four, five months without yeah. without any sort of, um, you know, without much buildup. I mean, these are WrestleMania-type matches. So, I mean, I think they're, they're sort of really gauging what they can now, almost mm-hmm. like a win-now mentality. Yeah, I'm absolutely. And they, they might just go back to it on WrestleManias, right? Yeah. Um, from the chat room, there's a few great comments. Uh, Tina is saying, if AJ is the champ, does that mean we get Shinsuke and uh, AJ in a steel cage for Starcade? Could be. Oh, that be. Could be. And I don't know if we're clear. Like, like somebody was, I, somebody was tweeting. You know, uh, you know, it's a shame that Starcade's not going to be on the network or right. something like that. I, I think the jury's still out. I think wait for that announcement after Survivor Series. I, I think it's yeah, something. They could, they could I think be. it's something where if it happens, Survivor Series happens, and then on Monday they say, "Hey, tune in for Starcade this week." When's War Games? Is that the night before Survivor Series? That's the night Series? before Survivor yeah, Series, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. so, which I don't even know when I'm going to watch because that's a busy weekend for me. Right, right. You know, hey, we'll be at RWA that night. That's right. You know, I got to record the next day. So, it, it's, it's these, 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 these wrestling weekends are killing me. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. labor of love though right? it is oh absolutely but i mean like i mean that, that they, they do this you know these weekends like this and mm-hmm. i'm just like i'm always working something yeah and it's it, it's it's just tough to kind of catch up on that's how the business works i mean a yeah. lot a lot of times the rwa stuff runs up against the next yeah yeah, yeah it does. Uh, the, the takeovers and uh, not that i'm complaining of course because you can watch the takeover anytime on the network right but you miss the you know you, you do miss the live you miss that live experience right the rwa that's right you do you do absolutely <laughs> come on down to west Juden. Newton, ladies and gentlemen. Next Saturday. Next week, Saturday. Week from this Saturday. Yeah, the go. 18th. War Games. Psh, come see our Yeah, come on. Man, there's been plenty see of See the War evolution games. of heel Burt LeGrand. There you go. That's right. There you go. He's going to be wearing that hair With out the there. Hair. I'm not going to wear it, actually. You should roll that hair out there. Um, we'll put, can, we can I borrow it? it? We can, sure. Or do I rent it? Do you give you a rent? Do I give you a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The level of sponsorship hey, I get for the hair. Gilbad sure. Bad might make you wear that forever, though, if he sees it. I think so. You never know. You never know. I mean, we can put the Cicero, Cicero logo. I mean, this is all inside baseball for guys who watch RWA. But anyways. Who uh, should be everybody. Who should be. Should there you go. RWA. There you go. IndieWrestling.us. That's right. $5 shows. Actually, somebody. It, right. What? What? That's true. That's true. He needs some. He needs a. He needs a yeah. cover up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I would be leery of. If I were there you right. go. Anyways, back to Garza doesn't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> These are random people in a, in a random far off land. To Garza. Yes. Yes. Hey, he's watched the sheriff RWA. Yeah. Right. So yeah. he was reviewing it for a little bit from the site. So, um, but anyways, what the hell are we talking about? Survivor Series. Yes. Right. Um, we do. We you know, there's a lot of swapperoo. Somebody in the chat room brought up about uh, Charlotte's going to be taking on Natalia next week. A week after that, 30 for 30. Maybe there'll be a switch up there. Um, it, it seems like they're doing a lot of course correction, which makes now, it interesting, right? Here's a super mega dark horse prediction I'll put out there. This could be crazy as hell, but this could very well happen. Now that AJ won the title, he was supposed to be the fifth man on uh, SmackDown by all accounts, right? You got you got Shane, Rude, Knock, Orton, mm-hmm. and supposedly AJ. Right. How about Daniel Bryan? Oh, jeez. How about it? Oh. You don't have to do that much. He's got a reason to come back to go up against Raw. Yeah, you yeah. don't. You don't have to be that physical. I mean, Angle is not going to be that physical. No, Shane no, doesn't no, no. be that physical. No, you can hide in that match. You can easily hide in the Survivor yeah. Series match. How about that? Wouldn't that not be a must-see attraction? Mm-hmm. And, and it, what, what better option is there on the SmackDown roster? Rusev, you know, I think just for gender. Gender, yeah, I mean, but I don't know. I guess that no, that kind of kill, hurt kills him. All yeah. this time, you don't have a team. Yeah, they don't. Match. They're just gonna run. They're just gonna wreak havoc. I think. Uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be an interesting angle on They're itself. gonna support, sabotage all the matches oh, for sure, SmackDown or sure. something, right? Yeah, yeah. It seems like that at this point, which is interesting. But Daniel Bryan on the SmackDown side. That's my that's my dark horse prediction. Wow. Something crazy that's gonna happen. Wow. I and these days, who knows? I mean, you just right. think Kurt was gonna come back? You no. know, with everything going on with him, you know. And again, it was in a tag match, so okay. Right. You know, and again, it's in another tag match, so okay. Um, I mean, I heard Angle is still way above. Oh, it's still better than seventy five percent of the of Shane. You know, right? At all, right? I mean, great Shane's great, but he's no Kurt Angle. No, so <laughs> it's a mismatch on paper. The main event, oh, absolutely, the, the five on five, is. absolutely. So be interesting to see either yeah. way. Um, other than that, you know, we we're having some other dream matches happening over in New Japan. Um and and Garza, I know you watched the recent. Uh, what was the show again that just came on in New Japan? Power struggle. Power struggle. And and, and big match announcements co- happening out of that. Uh, uh, tell us what's going on there. Well, I mean, the big news of coming out of that show was that uh, when Kenny Omega defeated 
Beretta for the U.S. title that he retained. Uh, a certain other Canadian that he has mm-hmm. been uh, feuding with on Twitter for like the last two months, I think, uh, decided to. I, I don't know if I should call it like a jump or whatever. It's a return, I guess. Chris Jericho appeared on the on the Tron and pretty much challenged Kenny Omega for the match at Wrestle Kingdom 12, which is uh, New Japan's WrestleMania. And it, it's this is like a Conor McGregor versus Mayweather, as in I never thought I see this happen. No, oh, absolutely. It's just Chris Jericho going to New Japan at this point in his career. And, and, and Jericho's no stranger to Japan. His no, early career... Yeah. Went through yeah, Japan, right? Absolutely, right. Like around, like a, the Mexico and Japan thing. Right? He knows the style. He knows. He knows how to work that. Yeah. Uh, those crowds. He knows how to work that atmosphere. Absolutely. He just doesn't like Canadian KOs. <laughs> Apparently. Huh. huh. It's a thing for Canadian Canadian KOs. Jeez. Um, but I, I know. I know. For us, we were we were really talking this up on the on the chat. I think between the Slack and the uh, the Facebook group. Uh, and this is uh, December fourth. Or, I'm sorry, January 4th, which is, I believe, a Thursday, which means sure. probably Friday morning, actually, yep. at 3 a.m. it starts, uh, if you're going to watch this thing Watch live, party, yeah. Right? I did that last year. I did that last year. It was an amazing and exhausting experience. I don't think I made it through <laughs> the entire thing. I had to stop and watch later. But it's worth your 9.99 yen, which is like 7 something. Sure. if you're going to do this thing. Um, and, and, and that's, I, I think that's, they're doing amazing things to bring the, the Western audience over. I had no interest in, 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 in Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, I was, I mean, I have a, a basic wrestling interest in Wrestling Kingdom, but now it's must see. Yeah. I got to see because of Jericho Omega. And, uh, Cody Rhodes and Kota Ibushi. Right. Kota Ibushi was announced as well. That's a big one. For the Ringer of Honor title. Was that, anna- was that just announced recently or was, was that announced at the show there, uh, Garza? It was, an, it was announced the day afterwards. Afterwards, okay. Um, so I mean, you know, again, and, and this was, you know, we had was it Adam Cole and uh, Jay Lethal was it last year where they had a title change? Cole and O'Reilly. O'Reilly, that's right. Um, which is you never see that. I, you know, I was saying like, this is the only time I've ever witnessed a title change of the heavyweight Ring of Honor title that wasn't like on a DVD or something, yeah. right? Uh, you know, whether in person or live in general, right? And that was pretty astonishing that that happened at WrestleMania. So who knows what happens with this one? Um, that, this kind of sets the bar for something like this. So, uh, you know, the, again, just really setting up for, I mean, I, I, I think it's going to do, that show's always amazing. Again, mm-hmm. it's their WrestleMania. Yes. You you will see wrestling that you do not see anywhere else. Six-star matches. Yes, yeah, six-star matches, famously yeah. <laughs> from well, with Kenny Omega Kenny and... Omega. Uh, What's yeah, that? Okada. 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 Thank you. I, I am, I'm, I'm hard to keep up on these Japanese names, but still, like I visually like, oh that guy, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. a you whole know. bunch of that guy, exactly, a whole bunch of like, oh yeah, that guy with the thing and there's the eye thing and that has the Daryl. Um, so, but 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 still, like that that was a lot of like I saw the list of people for the the global wars here and I was like, they come out, I'm like, I remember him from Wrestle Kingdom, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, but. Uh, no, I, I'm really looking forward to that, and I think I think Wrestle Kingdom is going to be. We're trying to figure out like, can we do a watch party at 3 a.m. in here? I'm in. That'll be weird. I'm definitely in. But in yes. caffeine and fuel infused. We, we, we got to get the jar for uh, the our pool in our 7.99 or 9.99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yen. Everybody put their yen yens in, in a, a collection jar. In a collection jar. What's up, producer Missy? Oh, wait, she's pointing at the thing. Uh oh. What's up? New Japan is coming back to SoCal in March too, which mm. I know our, our buddy uh, Alex Cars is really excited because like, they're coming to Long Beach, his hometown. So we'll have a correspondent on the ground there, I think, Ooh. for that. So I think he did manage to get tickets. Boots so, on the ground, or it will be. Or did he like uh, go last year? I thought he did. Did he? Maybe. So maybe he can correct us out there when he gets to listen to this. Um, yeah, it's midnight on the West Coast, you lucky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys, between your iPhone uh, releases and, and your New Japan, right. just because you're closer to the country than us. Uh, but no, we're just going to have to go visit California. <laughs> Actually, you might, st- you might still be out there on the 4th. So you can watch it with us because that won't be so bad for you. Uh, Producer Missy is going to be visiting the fam out there. So, yep. Uh, anyways, uh, what else did I have on deck for us to talk about? Uh, we'll, we'll hold the penis for later. Um, what? There's Wait, a, what? There you go. <laughs> what? 
Oh, we do have a different Alex response. To New Japan. He is. All the Alexes oh. are gonna tra gonna gonna go to New Japan. Jeez. Wait, March. When is it in March? I have to check that because I'm going out to the, I'm going out to California. <laughs> no, that's April, I think. I don't know. I have to check my thing. One send me really early. Florida. No, no. I'm going to California during WrestleMania weekend. That's right. I'm going to Florida in March. Uh, schedules are tough. Uh, anyways, uh, from that, so Garza, you watched Impact Wrestling. I did. And I'm looking really for forward glory. to having a non-negative uh, review of <laughs> Impact Wrestling. Uh, now, now I'm interested in this because I'm seeing all the reports and I've seen some videos online and everything. And the more and more I see of things that have happened, the more and more I kind of want to watch it because I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, you know, DJ Z I know is a part of the program. I don't know if he was on the pay-per-view. Uh, but, you know, guys like Sammy Callahan are popping up. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, whatever they're calling them, they're on there. You know, uh, San Sanjay. Sanjay, of course, uh, RWA uh, alum, of course. And, uh, you know, it, it, it seems like there might be something for me if I want to get back into Impact Wrestling. What, what was your take on the show? Uh, well, you had an amazing talent. But the show itself was a bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry to say this. Well, oh, no. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, the weekly episodic show has been decent. Like, I enjoy watching it. it it's not a hassle anymore for me. Good. And, but I don't know. Like, it's like they're really good at foreplay. But once they get to the pay-per-view, they just, <laughs> like, try to put everything out there and, like, try to be extra dramatic. And they always... Like overbook everything, and that was what happened. The show, like, we had some decent wrestling, but overall, it was just like overbooked, uh, an overbooked show. And I don't know. I, I was really disappointed uh, because I I do really want them to to make to have a, this show that will make people tune in, but I can't defend it in Bound for Glory. I'm hoping that the <laughs> things what were, are, are gonna be this decent. <laughs> what were some of the matches? Uh, the main event was Eli Drake and Johnny Impact, aka Johnny Mundo, for the title. Uh, we had a Monsters Ball with Abyss and Grado, and I think that was the worst match. Really? No. We had a oh. Gail Kim's retirement match against mm -hmm. Ali and Sienna. We had a Moose and Lashley in a cage match, but it, that was like a. Lashley and King Mo versus Moose and Stephen Bonner. So it was kind of like a mix of MMA and and wrestling. Mm. Uh, the best match, in my opinion, was uh, the exhibition, which was a six-way. It was Sanji Dodd, Kitty Williams, Desmond Xavier, Matt Seidel, Garza Jr., not not myself. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I no missed someone. Oh, Trevor Lee. So, I mean, those are all like Good wrestlers that we've probably seen a bunch of times already. That, that was a pretty good match. And I think Petey Williams got the biggest uh, ovation of everybody, didn't he? Because oh, of yeah, the Canadian, was, the Canadian, Canadian aspect, yeah. he was the most over from what I've read. Somebody asked uh, in the chat what your opinion was of Alberto's promo. Um, okay, so here, I thought it was like a, a terrible segment to have in a review. review. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but, uh, what what happened with the Pro Bowl? Okay, so he comes out and he starts shooting on like it actually sounded like straight up shooting on the, the the offices because he got suspended for you know all those real life things that were going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he kind of like took it back into kayfabe, say, uh, just talking about losing the title and wanting to get the title back. And then like super awkwardly, he starts shooting on Jeremy Borash. And he goes up to the table and he's like pushing around Borash and it's super awkward. And it was super weird. Like Alberto has this amazing capability to cut a heel promo disguised like as a babyface promo. Because you could see it in the fans, like he's talking about all this stuff, like how the people in the office like they lie to him. And the fans are like, Yeah, that's true, that's true. But then he just like turns it a little bit over and like fans are like yeah, you can't do the surf getting suspended. So, I don't know. It, it was a weird, weird segment. Wow. And, that, and that's the thing, because we, we've seen this, you know, I, I know in reports, you know, from Mike and everything, 
um, you know, they lean into public things that are happening, whether they should or not. You know, uh, like a, for they, better they, or worse. Yeah, like they, they like with the sexy star situation, they right. were doing stuff, you know, and leaning into that. And it's just like it, they're just kind of grasping for attention. It feels like it seems like it. I mean, it's it's always been their story. I mean, it, you'll you'll want them to succeed just because you want somebody else to succeed. That's not WWE, just for the sake right. of competition. And you know, they're never going to be, you know, ever. No, at, at no. no point were they nope. ever a threat to WWE at, at any remote level. But mm-hmm. you you want somebody to do it. Mm. And TNA just can't get out of their own way. Yeah, period. Yeah. yeah, it really does seem like it. Who's I, running that now? Um, now that Jared's gone. They're officially owned by Anthem. No, I know, but I mean, like, who's doing like the day to day? Like, is it? Uh, oh, because Cornette's gone. I think it's right. Demore. Demore, it, it, yeah, Demore has a hand in it. Demore, um, Sanjay has Br- a hand. Bruce Mantel. Pritchard's still there, isn't Bruce, he? Uh, no, no, he's Pritchard's not. Pritchard's gone, but Mantel is still Dutch, there. Dutch Mantel, right? Dutch, Dutch is still there. Okay. okay. All right, so so you know it, it has changed hands a bit. Bit there. of a committee. So yeah, which yeah. So yeah, what's up? What's this about buying fans? Oh, uh, so so yeah, this came up, and I have actually have the the article up uh, because mm-hmm. I wanted to bring this up next. Uh, so as we know, wait, wait, hold on a Uh-oh. second. What's that, Mad Mike? Just Mad pick- Mike just joined. Oh no, <laughs> just in time for the impact talk. <laughs> oh, jeez. And also, he says, Chachi, is this 2006? Uh, <laughs> uh, Bert Legrand is Stretchy Chachi, when, from, for those that don't know. Oh, okay. I did not... Oh, you never heard that? No, I never did. Because <laughs> oh, wow. when we started going to shows, I'm like, this dude kind of looks like you. Oh, yeah, right. right yeah, right. so... The... Uh, Mike has an email for me. I'll have to check that out here in a second. But anyways, uh, so we know they're doing uh, you know a series of tapings here in the next few days for for Impact Wrestling. Sure. And there was a there's a casting notice that came up, and this is actually on Impact Wrestling's Facebook. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll read some parts of it here. We are currently hiring paid background actors for the following: must be Ottawa local, non-union only, non-speaking role. Uh, filming dates the seventh through the uh, 9th of November, seven to eleven p.m. Pay rate is uh, $12.50 an hour, $50 a day. Of course, this is Canadian, so do your own math. Right. Uh, location, da 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 uh, Anyone 16 or younger must have a parent or guardian with them at all times. 50 to 75 audience members per day, the 7th through the 9th. All ages, any ethnicity, bring friends and family. Um, so so they're basically, and it goes in your wardrobe, casual clothing, t-shirt, jeans, sweatshirts, weekend casual. You may be given signs to hold... You're encouraged to look at wrestlers on the website, impactwrestling.com, and make your own signs. That would be very helpful, and you will get more face time on TV. Uh, you will get to sit in the audience and watch a thrilling night of wrestling provided by Impact. Each day of filming will be four hours long. Hmm. Uh, so <laughs> they are looking to pay actors, extras, for their audience members openly for Impact Wrestling. Now, I mean, what? Mike, to that, says that he's moving to Ottawa to finally get reparations for watching Impact for 15 years. <laughs> Impact reparations. Yes. Jeez. Um, I, man, I, okay, it's the TV bits. I get it. Right. Right. I don't have a problem with that at all. Are they no? trying to fill their hard cam side or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why what like, it is? They only I, need 50 to 75 people? Maybe they're going to, like, copy and paste... Oh, digitally enhanced, yeah, right? right. <laughs> like <laughs> like the, the old studio wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. You paint you paint the wall. With yeah, all we're the good. Fans. We're good. But uh, no, I, mean, I I don't have a problem with it because it's it's a television production at the end of the day. Yeah, it is. It, just like WWE, it's a television production at the end of the day. If you're putting yeah. together something for television, just like any show, you want actors. I mean, maybe you don't necessarily get the uh, you know the Amen. live crowd you want for that, but if you're going to create a show, create a show. And I don't know what the motivation is for being in Canada. I believe Anthem is a Canadian company. Is that correct? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if this is mean we're going to see more Canadian filmings. It could because very well. Is, 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 it, is it cheaper in general for them to shoot up there? Are they uh, gonna... it, yeah. That's why there's a lot of filming done in Toronto in, in general yeah, of course. It, it, for movies and things like that. Of course. I, I, I imagine the same logic applies. And, and maybe even more so since it's a Canadian based company. Right. So they bring it in and, and everything. Um, that That's interesting. That, 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 that could they become our Canadian uh, promotion at this point, right? At this, sure. You know, and they've, they've done everything they could in America. Yeah, basically. And, and they've exhausted the Cuban America. They can't do anything else here. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. better or any, or a level above it. So why not try something new at this point? And is this any worse than the fact that how long? When is the last time they've had paid attendance? You know, yeah, I mean, right. a, a, they're, they're, as it right. is, their TV has been free people at Universal Studios. Right. Right. Or at least people that paid yeah. a ticket or whatever the case is there. Uh, you know, season pass. Holders. I, don't, I, I don't know. I think I think you didn't even need that in order to attend uh, down in Orlando. Sure. So. I do think they sold tickets. Did they uh, sell tickets? I mean, for pay-per-views and stuff, right? Yeah, no, and I think they also probably sold tickets for the shows, but we're talking about doing a pay-per-view and then probably like four days of tapings. Yeah. I mean, as much money as you have, you're not going to go to five straight days of wrestling of impact just because. I mean, you have to be like the biggest fan or like, I don't know, Pete Williams' mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's that. But I mean, and, and then, you know, they, they just don't have much traction with fan bases, you know, whereas Ring of Honor will come here and sell out Stage AE. Instantly. Yeah, Pretty basically. Much. Basically, I mean, they're, they're basically two promotions running in, you know, between New Japan and Ring of Honor. So, sure. I mean, I think it was a perfect storm of that, too. I'm curious right. to see what happens when they have a straight Ring of Honor show next time. But uh, but still, like, that's – people were scrambling to get to that show. Absolutely. Versus an Impact Wrestling here. And, and um, last time I remember Impact Wrestling here, uh, Ring of uh, – Angle wrestled. Art, no, no, the, yes, and uh, uh, RWA, I think, outdrew them. I, I would be surprised, yeah. Well, because was, they yeah. were the one time they that were like right park, down the right? road, right? Were they, were they, no, no were they, uh, ice gardens. That's right. That's right. They, they were, were at the ice gardens. It was the same night as our. Doesn't matter to me. I wasn't there. No, 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 no,
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a good use for Triple H. Jeez, yeah. just the promos alone oh, yeah. of those two going at it would be as tremendous. The, as the big boss of the McMahon family. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Be like, you know, hey, maybe I don't like what you're doing with my brother-in-law. Right. You know, like he comes back around on it or something. Uh, meanwhile. I'd, I'd think the opposite. Right, right. Turn right, Kevin right. babyface. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, I think. I bet he could do it. Kevin become. I think Owens becomes eventually maybe. Uh, like he still has to be an asshole, but in oh, some yeah. way, like Austin's an asshole. Yeah, he needs to or become Randy's an asshole. Yeah, but but like Stone Cold was a likable asshole. Oh, yeah. there he goes, stunning dude, love again. Uh, you <laughs> know, wacky Steve that Austin. wacky Steve Austin with his beer. Uh, you know, versus like Kevin Owens is just always an asshole, but he he comes kind of an anti-hero sort of yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. It just you know you just direct who is the he an asshole towards, right? Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I think it could come around on it. I think they're doing some interesting things with him and Sammy right now. You know, well, there's some very interesting, interesting things with him and Sammy. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, so. he's, I mean, he's definitely, he's got more out of the Sammy Zayn character than he had before. I was oh, never, yeah, I was never into yeah. Sammy Zayn as a baby. He's, face, he was so. still white. He was too white meat. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I knew was, he did the underground thing, but that's what could get you so far. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I, I, I like the nice guy cheating character that he's got. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's still a nice guy about it. Mm-hmm. He was, he's doing like all these despicable things. Arrogant skanking. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, speaking of Triple H, uh, he's been uh, uh, cosplaying as a S.H.I.E.L.D. member. <laughs> yes. As you guys have seen the videos online, um, you know, Kurt Angle started the trend. And uh, uh, Triple H goes out there with Ambrose and Rollins. And there's a video out there of them uh, going to do a dive. And Triple H <laughs> says, nope, <laughs> steps it. through the ropes and just starts <laughs> punching his guy. Forget this. Yeah, yeah. Very, for, yeah. Just kind of moving on. And it, 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 it's, it's very Triple H. It's like, I'm too old for this shit. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. It's exactly I, what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't need this. But he was never this. that guy. He right. was no, never, no, he was, no. I mean, oh, nobody no. was that no. guy in that era. Nobody no. did dives like that unless it was like Ray Mysterio. Right? Yeah, right. Like, that was a very yeah. new thing. But I, it just, I, I know this is like them, like kind of filling in like the Roman Reigns. Spot. And it was a neat moment too. I mean, it was. There's always so much you could do if you're if you're if you're paying for a, as a fan, paying for a Shield reunion, you're not going to get it because of no Roman. At least be something memorable. And yeah, that's absolutely. exactly what that was. Absolutely, it's a you one-time know. thing. You have to you have to treat it in a vacuum because only what six seven months ago, Triple H and Seth were going at it at WrestleMania. Right, right, right. So right, I mean, you right. have to take it in a vacuum. But yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's kind of a eh, live shows aren't really canon, right? You know, exactly. I mean, how many times are they kind of pre WrestleMania matches, sure, you know, to to work them out and everything like that. So, um, but no, just kind of a fun thing that happened out there. So, um, well, we got a lot to talk about here, including um, a certain TV star going to Ring of Honor. I think we'll bring up here as well as a penis in wrestling. Nope, he's not that indie wrestler that stiffed you that one time, or Virgil. Mm. But uh, we'll talk about that after the break. But in the meantime, please check out our friend Slice on Broadway right up here, up the street here. I know. Sorry, Garza. Not in El Paso yet, (laughs) but that global expansion is still happening. It's it's, it's on its way. Now up to four locations. If uh, Dave doesn't keep uh, kicking the door down, uh, (laughs) that they have to keep buying new doors so they can get some new locations. Right here, uh, up the street on Broadway, Carnegie, PA. PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and of course their latest location in East Liberty. So uh, the expansion is still happening uh, for them. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Hit them up on the Twitter, pgh underscore, twi- underscore slice on the Twitter, and uh, sliceonbroadway.com. Let them know the mayhem sent you. And uh, we'll be right back with the big question and some more fun stories after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are back here with the crew and some more. Of course, the great Burt LeGrant of... I, I keep adding a T at that. I, I'm the LeGrant. worst at names. The Grant. The Grant. The Grand. It's new. The Grande. The rebranding has begun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the executive the genesis of LeGrant. Executive announcer at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Right. We had a 60-minute re- Iron Man match. We did. My yes, God. we did. I got, we I, survived I, it. I edited it on Friday. It was wow. good. I mean, it was good. It was a good match. It, it, I, no, the, the, the talent was top-notch in that. It was, it was, Absolutely was. I couldn't believe that they kept the crowd for most of it. I, <laughs> you know, I, I was, could not believe it either. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it was very well done by both, uh, both men. And, uh, Aaron and, Williams and Shane, and Shane Andrews. Andrews. For the title. Yes. 
and uh, commend them both. It was a great effort on both their parts. And, 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 and exactly what you said, keeping the audience through the match. I was worried. I was worried about it because, I mean, that's, that's, I wasn't a, that's sure. a, it's a tough sell. It was a very tough sell, especially yeah. in that crowd, especially for 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. They never tried anything longer than 30 before. Yep. Yep. Uh, and, you can check that out. That's, of course, from Bloody Harvest with the Rangate Wrestling Alliance, uh, now available on digital download and yes. uh, eventually on DVD at IndieWrestling.us. You can pre order the DVD now. Uh, and of course, the next show is next Saturday. Next the Saturday, the eighteenth. Eighteenth. Seventeenth. No. Eighteenth. Sixteenth. Eighteenth. Whatever next what Saturday is. Shut up! You're trying to throw off the set. It's the season. It's the eighteenth. Jeez. Jeez. Yes. Uh, go check it out if you're in the in the Pittsburgh area. You can catch that work. Open, you, you, you open can season, I believe. Open go watch season. the show, and then you can go home and watch the war games on NXT on, That's on right. demand. That's right. That's the beautiful, beautiful part of the network, yes. Or if you decide that you're not in the area or decide to watch the war games, you can pick it up on digital download afterwards at Indie Wrestling. Right. But it is, a, it is a very fun atmosphere. This, it's my, great. this is my plug That's for the, great. the day. It's very, very fun. You guys know this first firsthand. You've been there. They boo the it, shit out of you. They boo the hell out of me, and I love it for telling the rules, for being alive, <laughs> for, for for just being, for just existing. That's for why being you bored. should wear the hair. You're I'd bring my disguise. I'd bring my parents. They'd boo them for having me. Yeah, and that's yeah, how bad yeah, it gets. That seems but, right. That seems right. But right. But it's it's fun though. It's like it's I a said, it's crowd. the dumbest thing I do. Mm-hmm. But I I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's amazing. Absolutely. Mutilator Larry was with, is with us, of course. Not watching 205 Live. No, I'm not. I'm reading the chat right now. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff well, happening out there. Well, somebody had a... Robert had a suggestion for the fifth member of Team Raw for the women's match being Paige. Ooh. That'd be nice. That'd be a that'd nice be surprise. Nice. That'd be a nice surprise. Also, of course, Antonio... Whoop, there you go. Antonio hey. Garza Woo. from El Paso, Texas, joining us as well of the WrestlingRevolution.com. Hey, what's going on those there these days? Uh, just the same old deal, reviewing... Every show that we can get our hands on. Fantastic. Uh, I recently added Down for Glory this morning. There you go. You... Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a completionist. <laughs> Journalistic integrity, right? That's and right. you heard that doubting voice of oh. Mad Mike with us from Poughkeepsie, New York. This, this may be my last appearance of 2017, It sword. could be. It could be. Very well. They've got to squeeze them in whenever we can because you never I'm, know. I'm like the Ezekiel Elliott of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Right. I never know when that suspension is dropping. What? I don't know any yeah, of that. That's a football it's joke. A football oh, that's a football right. joke. That's okay. That's the footballer's joke. Okay. That's why the, I got it. All those guys out there doing talking about fantasy, uh, Mayhem fantasy uh, football. Yeah, I beat does. Chad the Shad this week. That's what we should be talking oh, about. I won. Wow. How do you I guys not game. have like a fantasy mayhem like recap shit talk podcast? Um, life sort. Of. Oh, that's right. <laughs> life, life is busy. I just got home from work like twenty minutes. Yeah, that's true. He was eating his food on the break. <laughs> As happens, but anyways. Yeah. Uh, well, it is time for the big question, and we were talking a little bit about Wrestle Kingdom um earlier, and and just just incredible. I didn't even know I had a dream about these matches uh, are happening between Jericho and Omega, uh, Ibushi and, and, and Cody Rhodes. Like the, the, the matches I didn't know I needed in my life. Uh, and of course, you know, I, I you know, wrestling King, wrestling King, you know, we, we get things like this. And, and, and if you were to uh, have another dream match at Wrestle Kingdom, where apparently all things are possible, um, what would it be? I'd put oh, out sorry. there. Sorg, I got one. <laughs> and Mike's already I'll, got I'll one. I'll defer. I'm not nearly as qualified yeah. to uh, well, answer this question. Be, well, I mean, it, uh, as long as they're not in WWE, it's theoretically possible. That's well, true. That right? is true. Right, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so mine is Worldwide Underground versus the Bullet Club. <laughs> okay. Boom. Starting off hot. That would be amazing. That that would be absolutely amazing. The Worldwide Underground, of course, Johnny Mundo, PJ Black, whatever right. parts of him are left, because I think his uh, hand got blown yeah, up or PJ something. PJ Black, like, Jack Evans, Taya, and of course, Ricky Mundo. Ricky Mundo. Versus the Bullet Club, whichever incarnation they would like, but obviously Kenny Omega, um, the Young Bucks, I prefer Cody, and um, oh, why can't I remember his name? Hangman, um, Hangman Page, and Marty Scroll, and Marty Scroll. Oh, Marty Scroll, yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's I want that five on five at Wrestle Kingdom. That's what I want. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one. I want Ty beating the shit out of Cody Rhodes. I don't know why, <laughs> but I feel like I need that in my life. <laughs> That's awesome, uh, Garza. I know you're more familiar. You just watched some um, New Japan here 
recently. Uh, who, who would you like to see for a dream match? Well, uh, if any of you guys have seen Minoru Suzuki, I think you would agree that he oh, is geez. one scary motherfucker. I just saw him here in Pittsburgh against Silas Young. Yeah. The so real man, Silas Young. Last real man. Holy crap. That we're was gonna amazing. Put, uh, we're going to put this scary motherfucker. It has to go against the guy with zero fear of Pentagon Jr. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, Garza and I both representing Lucha Underground. I really Oh, jeez. I didn't even consider that kind of stuff. That's amazing. Wow. Um, uh, uh, Larry, I don't know how familiar you are I, with this. I'm not qualified. I don't know. You, you right have now. no qualification. Bert, no. do you have any better idea? So what are you there? Whatever. No. We don't know a lot of those guys. guys. Those, okay. guys, those guys hit on the head. Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't even come up with a better answer than that, no. I don't think. Um, well, there is one that okay. it has been brewing, and that is the Young Bucks versus Fuck the Revival. <laughs> Yeah, but they're, they're, but they're still signed. But but still, if something were to happen and they were let go because ah, too many injuries, maybe that oh, that would be oh, nice I mean, to see. Okay. Oh, Sorg, Tina's got one in the chat. Oh yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Aja Kong versus Jessica Havoc versus Manami Toyota versus Kaya. <laughs> yes. Sure. Oh jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Oh jeez. Hashtag, hashtag feminism. Hashtag <laughs> these girls gonna kick your ass. <laughs> and you know what? Well, Manami, throw, screw it. Throw Awesome Kong in there as well. <laughs> Manami Tajo does just retired like two days ago. So yeah, throwing Awesome Kong. Yeah. Okay. That works. Awesome. Um, I, you know, other than that, I would maybe throw. Jeez, who's still a champ? Who is it? Okada still a champ? Yeah, he's. Okada, yeah. yeah. Who was who he facing at uh, Wrestle Kingdom? Who would they say it was? Uh, Naito. 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 Yeah. I'm trying to remember Naito. Oh, you uh, remember Naito. Naito. <laughs> yeah, oh, the, that guy. The, the eye guy, yeah. Wait, oh, the guy with the Daryl? No. The, no, no, that's... The um, boss of the team. Oh, yeah. I'm getting confused now. This is this is where it falls apart for me. So, <laughs> anyways. No, the, the, the uh, Wrestle Kingdom is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let us know... Uh, or how about Okada versus Mil Muertes? Okay. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? I okay. think that'd be fun. Okay. Hear that? Or just throw Cage in against... Oh, 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 one more. I got one more. Cage and the Mac versus War Machine. Oh, jeez. That's that would probably be already happening somewhere. Really? All right. Maybe. Mayhem Universe, if that has happened somewhere, mm. find me that... No, wait, wait, wait. Even video. if it has, it wouldn't have been as cool as happening on Wrestle Kingdom. Because when it, you can take a match that has happened somewhere else, put it on Wrestle Kingdom, and it will be raised to another level, like a WrestleMania, right? Like I'm sure, like you, you Shinsuke and AJ, you know, will have you know, you can have somewhere. Sure. But it happening on a WrestleMania or Wrestle Kingdom elevates. It's it. just another level, right? Right. Because or, you get that crowd. Yeah, you get that crowd. It's, it's one thing to do that that in stage AE mm -hmm. in front of a stage AE crowd or or some similar venue, but WrestleMania, mm -hmm. the energy. Just that crowd itself. We saw a killer match with AJ Styles and Evan Bourne, or Matt Seidel, in, right. in West Virginia. Sure. Right? And that exact same match could happen at Wrestle Kingdom and just be, it could be a six-star match. Absolutely. Right. right. They could raise the bar on that thing. Um, so I, I think that's wide open. So, no, absolutely, I would add that match to the mix, Mike. Um, if, oh. if you guys could have one person from WWE... To wrestle one person from New Japan who would be at Wrestle Kingdom besides Jericho, obviously Ziggler. Ziggler. Mm. Yeah, but who would he wrestle? Because I'm trying to think of a good opponent anyone. for Ziggler. Right. Uh, Juice Robinson. Oh, but that's uh, that's just an NXT match that should have happened. It is. Yeah, it's an NXT match that can see, happen. See that me, would be I, good at Wrestle Kingdom. Will, Will Ospreay. I want Cena versus Okada. Cena versus Okada. Yeah, that would be pretty Orton amazing. Like, uh, you want to talk Cena with his worker boots on. Mm -hmm. mm. Hashtag free agent John Cena. Who the hell was it? <laughs> was it uh, um, was it Marcus Mann last week who was telling me about John Cena as the best wrestler ever? That's like an interesting what? conversation we have to have it's, on here. It's interesting. Was I mean, I'm not ever, I mean, it's so hard, but it's... You can make a case. Yeah, I mean, not, yeah. You can make a very strong case in terms of, in terms of money drawing, merch... Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. in ring ability mm-hmm. because he doesn't have a variety a variety of styles. Yeah. He doesn't have a bad match that often. No, I mean I can't think of oh that was a really bad John Cena match because he definitely elevates he elevates people and he can also elevate himself to level of competition. From the chat room uh, on that last question there, Mike, we have a lot of stuff going on. Rose versus Jericho versus Johnny Impact from Brandon. Don't call him Johnny Impact. That's insulting. <laughs> I don't know. He's had so many. Okay. Um, uh, Boone. Johnny Boone. Uh, yes. There that? you go. Uh, yes. I just want him to wrestle as Boone the Bounty Hunter everywhere now. I like on Indies. Um, Where? You mean everywhere, Sorg? You mean your local video stores? There's that, too. Um, how about, how about holding the DVD up? Robert. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, he's got it. I'm holding the DVD up. <laughs> So Boone the Bounty I'm not, Hunter. I'm not on the switcher. I'm turning the other way. Go go to your local Walmart. Get Boone the Bounty Hunter. Go, yeah, get seriously. Boone. Go get it. Get it on iTunes, wherever you want. Hashtag get Boone. There you go. Oh, hold it up again. There yeah, it is. There we go. That's the one right there. Oh, uh, sorry. He threw it away. There it is. Hashtag get Boone. Go get Yes. Boone. Go get Boone. Go get Boone. Oh, my God. There you go. Uh, also from the chat, Robert says wow. Braun versus Okada. <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okada's probably yes. like half his size, but it's I don't still going to it be would intimidating. Work. It, would work. Work. it would work. It would work. Does Braun know how to say, I'm not finished with you in Japanese? Does it matter? It'll learn. I don't know. <laughs> It'll translate. Okada will, <laughs> learn. Okada will learn his language. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They speak They speak a, a universal language of, of Smash Rage. Uh, John Cena versus Hiroshi. John, 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 Hashi. John, John Hashi. Hashi. Okay. Uh, Tina Key says Monster Mafia, Josh Alexander, and Ethan Page versus the Young Bucks. Mm. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yes. I has one. You have one. I has oh. one. For Wrestle Kingdom? I has one. Here we wow. Go. Producer Missy. Kota Ibushi versus Neville. Oh, oh. yes. Neville was yeah. pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. What the Cruiserweight Classic Finals should have, have been. been. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Oh, jeez. Missy, oh. that's why you're the world's greatest producer. We could, <laughs> we we could probably take twenty minutes just uh, having dream matches with Neville right now. Yes. Um, but man, he's a free agent. He could drop in that <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom <laughs> real easy. Absolutely. How about um, how about Pac versus Juice Robinson? Oh, jeez, yes. <laughs> hey, Pac versus Ricochet. Pac versus Ricochet. Yeah. Pac versus Ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ricochet, yeah, Ricochet was on Wrestle Kingdom last year. I think he was in a tag match, I think, with uh, Osprey and a bunch of other guys. So, man, I, I even forgot about Ricochet. And Rick, Rick, Ricochet is supposedly getting a Fed contract last I knew. Well, it hasn't happened yet. No, yeah. no, no, no. But you never know. Hey, Leo Rush got put in the doghouse, but geez. well, that was his own fault. Yeah, don't tweet about Emma getting fired. That's for sure. For that person that said uh, Monster Mafia versus Bucks, that's already happened to. But again, yeah. have it at Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> right. right? Sure, sure, sure. Ben, you. <laughs> Robert, Robert McNeil says Daniel Bryan versus anyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That fits too. <laughs> no, I don't want Daniel uh, to die. Ray Rowe. He missed it. Survivor uh, Series. Daniel I'll say it again. Uh, Ziggler versus Naito. Oh, Brian. Yeah. How about Neville. Daniel Bryan versus Evil? Oh, jeez. He missed the Daniel. He missed my prediction earlier. Daniel Bryan of Survivor Series is the fifth man for SmackDown. Um. Well, uh, Sorg, I I had I sent in an email because I didn't think I'd be on the show. Okay. Do you, do you want me to read it? I yeah you can yeah sure. What, what what's going on? It's not long, right? No. Okay. Okay. So um, it's a it's a bold prediction I have for the uh, for Survivor Series. All right. Uh. So. I, I made a funny joke that was like a toy store. But uh, remember when Kurt was blackmailed about uh, his child existing? Yeah. And remember, yes. remember when we all said it was Chad Gable? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what if Daniel Bryan switched the test results? What if the reason he got so angry with Shane is because Daniel had already sent a mole to Raw to sabotage the Survivor Series team? Who's the first person Jason Jordan went after? Miz, the guy who Daniel Bryan hated. The only person Jordan got beaten down by during the Under Siege was Gable. Jordan chased after the New Day, but kind of did so half-heartedly. And Brian had already had Shelton in the wings waiting to appease Gable for hiding the truth. This sets up Jordan screwing over Raw, Miz being able to gloat again, and a Jordan vs. Gable showdown at the Rumble. I love it. I've seen, I, I've seen a lot of Jordan turning buzz. It's a very serious. Oh, hold on. What's that? What's that? This is something I've seen a couple of different times in the chat room. Mm-hmm. Um, Daniel Bryan is going to take Shane's spot in Survivor Series. No way. 
absolutely no way. Well, no, it, it isn't. It, I told. I, I, mean, I mentioned it being the fifth man. The fifth man, because AJ. Yeah. The AJ hole. Yeah, there's a there's an AJ hole. And you can easily hide. You can easily hide in Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm on board with that idea. Well, uh, I wanted to bring up. We got one more week, and we'll get into a lot of. Uh, you know, we'll see how that shapes up. After Raw and SmackDown next week, there's a lot that could probably change. You don't think already... that hole is going to be filled by Kevin or Sammy? No, no, it would because be, as yeah. of right now, they have nothing. to It do would have to be both. Games. It would have. I mean, because because they're they're such a tandem act right now, it'd have to be both of them. Yeah, but they have nothing to do with Survivor Series. One of them has to fill that. Well, we, they'll we, wreak we, havoc. Yep, we talked about them kind of wreak havoc and maybe sabotaging uh, Survivor Series earlier. Yeah, I don't know. That could they could, okay. could they be. could they could interrupt. Um, the drifters' performances for three <laughs> segments. There you go. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, uh, I know Mad Mike is going to be excited about this, oh, but no. it was announced that Stephen Amell ah! <laughs> is going to be at Ring of Honor in San Antonio. Why is this significant? Why is Stephen Amell suddenly showing up at Ring of Honor? Because he's friends with Cody Rhodes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Renewing the feud. Perhaps the way it should have been. Stephen Amell yes. and Cody. This I, I just I want some interaction with Stephen Amell and um Oh, what is his name? I can't think of his name. Uh with the boys. Dalton Castle. Oh jeez, yes, mm. that would be amazing too. Yes. That would be amazing. Um also, like Ring of Honor is not one to bring celebrities in. No. No. This is this is new territory for them. And I don't know, you know, that it, it could be something that, I mean, look at everything you have with SummerSlam, right? Right. It's, it's, it's a proven commodity as far mm-hmm. as celebrities go. Mm-hmm. We know that Amel could get into whatever he does mm-hmm. because he's that into it. And, and the, of course, the connection with Cody. It's not like you're bringing in somebody just who's out there pimping his new show or pimping his new book or something. Right, this is somebody right. who can, you know, work within the realm of legitimate pro wrestling in terms of that context. Mm-hmm. With somebody he knows he could trust, something again be in the news, uh, right? You know, I'm sure there'll be an Entertainment Tonight or whatever Hollywood Access whatever show, sure. You know, uh, stuff around it. So, which only helps Ring of Honor, and they could tie it to a charity. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. As I've done in the past. It's better than a Pac-Man Jones spot, right? Boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, the same people that are begging, pe- they are paying people to come to their shows in Canada now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's so idiotic how they've gone from a place where people don't pay to come to their show to pe- to a place where they have to pay for people to come to their show now in a foreign country. Like, how is that? How is that a positive business model? Mm. Anyways, yeah. well, you know, Canada. Uh, but anyways, uh, but no, that's, that's kind of an interesting move for them. And the other thing I wanted to bring up that I, I kind of teased here uh, beforehand, uh, Joey, Joey Ryan had an interesting uh, tag partner at a recent, <laughs> Hood, Hood, Slam, a recent Hood Slam show um, where he tag teamed with his penis. <laughs> uh, and yes, he did confirm, yes, my penis is a girl. The yep. secret is out. Intergender. Uh, yes, uh, it's intergender. intergender. And uh, the they fuck? were used. There was a penis choke slam, apparently, of some sort. And, <laughs> of course, they won the tag titles in Hood Slam. Where was this? Hood, Hood slam. slam. Well, Sorg, it's not the first time the body part has won a tag team match. That is true. That, that, I, I guess well, actually, that's true. No, no. Technically, uh, I'm, I'm wrong. I stand corrected. It is true because the last time I saw a body part in a tag team match, that body part lost. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Al Snow and Head versus Too Ooh. Much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That's Deep impressive. cuts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, b- b- because um, I remember Brian wow. Christopher pulled out a bottle of Head and Shoulders, right, shoulders. <laughs> put it underneath Head, to get and shoulders. pinned Head to the mat. Yes. That happened. Wow. And we let that, it happen. Where did that happen? Was that pay per view? That was, that attitude was on, on pay per view. Attitude that was on pay per view. Somebody paid for that? That, that, was, that was a, a Vince Russo special. Had it been. Yeah. Uh, that is, That's that got Vince Russo. After Russo. Uh, I guess it could be Russo. Oh, me. yeah. Huh. Wow. Would you imagine anybody else putting, coming up with that one? This really? is why I was watching WCW at the time, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, it's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, WCW wasn't much better. Well, I mean, it was at the time. At, yeah. Not you know, by uh, much. Yeah, not by much. This, but this was they had pr- the Kiss it, Demon and it Chuck. didn't. It oh, didn't. That was much later. Even it's, though it won the ra- <laughs> even though it won the ratings, WWF back in the Attitude Era aged so horribly. Oh yes. Horribly. Aside yes. from the main event angles that everybody remembers and all the moments they remember fondly, the undercard aged so terribly. But the undercard, every match had a story. Though. Right. That, that, that was that was Vince Russo's hook. That was that was the thing he contributed. Everybody did something. Everybody had an important role from the top of the card all the way to the bottom. Why, why did we get rid of that concept? <laughs> right. <laughs> why did we get rid of that concept? Because that's a good concept. That's a great concept to have. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Everybody's involved. Everybody's doing something, for better or worse. So you're saying they need to bring back the hardcore title? I love that. I love they brought back the hardcore title. Hey, they did, the, they the did the some fun so, things with that. They, they, gave, they gave a lot of people. In the stuff age to of do. social media and Snapchat, that would be fuck great. Yes, we yes. Well, the there was. Title. Remember when um, uh, Chuck Taylor was doing? Uh, what, yeah, right. What, 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 what title Chuck was he Taylor defending? Chuck Taylor was doing that shit on Instagram. Right. Yeah, yeah. And like everybody, like Johnny Gargano, oh, everybody was involved in it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's the age. I want to see. I want to see the hardcore title change on an episode of Ride Along. Oh, jeez, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez, yes. Yeah. Table, Ch- for, table for three. Change at a Waffle House. <laughs> like, you just see one, like, the hardcore burger. champion is driving right. with someone who he has a truce with. But then you see someone else with a referee <laughs> running them off the road. Right. <laughs> Go on, Blade, you're already Blade Runner with it. it. Yeah, Blade. <laughs> Happ- happens on an episode of 24 in Gorilla. Sure. Sure. Like right. some emotional segment, somebody comes and just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Table for three. Right, right after, right Vince. during the Dana Warrior segment. Of right. The oh no! Oh, it, oh, it's no. right after a big match where Vince is all teary eyed and hugging somebody. <laughs> it, it happens in the background too. Yeah, you have yeah, the hug, yeah. but in the background, yeah. you, have the you just see the left hand. <laughs> some completely unrelated angle in the background. Jeez. Oh God! Is it worth noting that there was an intergender match tonight on Raw? Yes. I think it's, yes. Yeah. If you could say that, since time, time, that it was. I mean, more, more or less. I mean, that but, one should have been saved. Yeah, you think? Yeah, because they've been building to Becky Lynch versus James Ellsworth for the yeah, longest. Yeah, but they're doing a lot of special stuff in UK this week. Yeah. But why do they get all the good shit? Is it because they can never have a WrestleMania? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, Pittsburgh can right, never if, have a WrestleMania. If that's right. the reason, I'll accept that. Yeah, and we also get really good Raw as well, usually. We, yeah. So we usually get like title changes. We get a yes. lot of good stuff. We get, we get some good stuff happening. Yeah, here. Pittsburgh gets a Absolutely. lot of key stuff. The, the big show and big cast. What? The big show and big okay, cast. Okay, that was a bad night. That was, okay, yeah. that was not. That was a bad event, too. <laughs> that was not a good night. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but anyways, uh, but we are getting, speaking of big things happening, we had Pete Dunn come out last night against yeah, Enzo. We did. Yep. And, yeah. and I mean, as our 205 correspondent, I'm curious what you're thinking, Larry. I am surprised they turned him babyface. What? what? Oh, Pete, Pete Dunn? Dunn? I mean, he's, he, he's like yeah. one of the few guys that could be a bigger asshole than Enzo. I think it's one of those Stone Cold things because he's so badass mm-hmm. asshole. You appreciate it. That yeah. it, was, it wasn't so much a... I loved watching it. I was yeah. okay with it. I yeah. was just surprised. Like I, I would have expected Tyler Bate or somebody else to come and, out. And followed by right now, as we're recording, actually, well, it would have been done about a bit, a bit ago. Uh, Two hundred five live also had a UK yeah. invite or something where the, the five guys came on there, and I think they were setting up or maybe had a Survivor Series match tonight. Yeah, they so, said Tyler Bate and Enzo actually, had a match too. What, what's up? While we were while we were talking, they just announced Gargano versus Pete Dunne for. Uh, Takeover. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Takeover's um, looking good. Guys, this Takeover sounds fucking dope. Yes. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Takeover really? sounds fucking dope. Like, Jesus. All it, except for that main event, which I could give two shits about. I don't think that's going to be a main event. That's why that's the main, that's the title match. Yeah, well, I mean, it's War Games is going to be the main. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so that oh, I, I keep forgetting who McIntyre is even taking on. It, Andrade Cien, who yeah, gives right. a yeah, shit? Yeah, right. yeah. That's that's that is a Brock Lesnar versus Bob Holly match if uh, I've ever and seen. It, one. And even the, <laughs> right, <laughs> the contractually obligated main event yeah, that somebody yeah, yeah. has. No, but yeah. but Sorg, Brock Lesnar and Bob Holly even had more heat. 
Right? They did. did legit. No, they because did. because uh, Lesnar Bro- broke Kali's arm neck. at one point. I thought it was neck. neck. Yeah, no, his neck. neck. It was his neck. Yeah, the same difference. His arm is his neck. But uh, <laughs> can we talk about what happened on NXT briefly? Uh, what's that? Where Roderick Strong got the first legitimate crowd reaction he's ever gotten in NXT, <laughs> oh. and it's because he didn't turn heel. Right. It's because he didn't turn like he had that wristband on. He was going to start beating down Sandy and the authors of pain. And then he just didn't. And everyone started booing him because he didn't do something interesting. <laughs> like, why can't why can't we just have like the Undisputed Era as four guys going in against Sanity and the authors of pain? Because numbers. Um, right. but, but War Games is not three teams. Yeah, I know. I know. That's yeah. the whole point. Uh, they, they, did, they did no, they once, did. once they did. at WCW. They did it was once. three teams. Yeah, there is a precedence for it. Okay, okay. It, it didn't really work out well. It wasn't it, the good years. No. I was going to say, what was it? Like 99? NWO, yeah. WCW, and was that? Oh, was that black and white Wolfpack in WCW? Mm. Uh, I thought it was Horseman, Horseman. Horseman versus w, Team Piper versus oh, NWO. Oh, oh, oh when Piper had random guys? No, yeah. no, Pipe, no, Piper, Piper's guys, they were random, but then they became the Horsemen. It was Piper and the Horsemen, a WCW team, which is like DDP, Luger, and, some, and two other guys, maybe Giant, and Hall, Nash, X-Pac, or something like that. Okay. Uh, and that was that was how that broke down. But I like the concept of this year's, uh, of the War Games, where it's the whole team enters. It's, it's, it's one-on-one-on-one. And then after five minutes, a team enters. And then after five minutes, another team enters. Oh, wow. So you'll, oh, you'll, you'll, you'll have three on one on one for five minutes. And, you'll, and then, then you'll three, have three on three on one. And then after. So one guy gets really screwed. Right. Oh, you know who that's going to be, Sorg? Hmm. Roderick Strong. Of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> if the authors aren't making that hot tag into the end of that match, then what the fuck are we even doing? Yeah, it's true. Right. That's true. Why the and, bad uh, guys always uh, always get the, Robert, the coin toss? Robert's saying in the chat room, Jinder lost because he failed the wellness test. I highly doubt that. No, yeah, no, no, right, no, no. Jinder lost because he's going to win that title back in India. Right. Yeah. I really, li- that's, that's I really liked how pissed he was after the match, though. Mm-hmm. That that was a good start punching yeah, out his good. voice. Yeah, right. he was really mad. That's a good sign. I, I would have loved to see that three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> And not after the fact. Any emotion. Yeah, emotion. Yeah, real emotion. <laughs> oh, but that's it yeah, great. Um, oh, it'll be interesting to see what's going on here. So, so uh, you know, it's good to see UKs getting into the mix a bit more because I was always kind of curious what they're going to be doing with these guys because the TV thing didn't really happen. But it is not happening at all. Or I well, it just it just didn't. I thought there was. I don't. To, I don't think it's happening. Yeah. So I don't know if just something's falling flat with it or something, but. Um, you know, this idea that, and I think it's maybe something they just kind of like, hey, we go into the UK, let's show off the UK champ, you know, or things like that. Right. So, I mean, but at least like they're doing things with TakeOver and NXT. So that's kind of floating out there and, and maybe but, it just kind know, of finds a home sometimes. We could some have point. had the UK guys on SmackDown. We could have. Sure. Because, no, but like Raw already has the entire Cruiserweight division. Right. right. Do we really want to give them the entire UK division as well. But yeah. Raw also has one more Raw also has one more hour. How how hard would it be to do an NXT for them type thing? Well, I think that was the you idea. Know? Like maybe they go film um a month of tapings over there once yeah, right. you know, once a month. I mean, I mean it, something it, like that. Even if they did that at full sale though. Uh, no, 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 you no. lose you lose the whole effect yeah, right. if you don't film that. No, wrong. I think the whole point is it's a WWE representation. In the UK on a regular basis. Mm. Yeah. So, but anyways, um, uh, well, on that note, guys. Oops, somebody was bringing up Alicia Fox. What, what about her? Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox. Um, Brian said, "There's nothing more cringe worthy than Enzo lately, except uh, for Alicia Fox." Oh, I, that's a uh, lie. I, did, I that's disagree. A lie. I, I disagree because she... That's just someone who can't enjoy nice she, things. She's yeah. my favorite part about the women's division on Raw right now. Wow. She's it, so crazy. It's amazing. And Enzo is wrestling's not that great. What's but that? Enzo isn't cringeworthy. I don't think. It's, especially, I'm going to say... Especially if he's, if, he's going to work the Drew Gulak angle. 
Because that is the funniest thing going right now. Oh, yeah. That is the best thing going. If he has him I'm as an official Alicia spokesman. I'm guessing Alicia said the best year of a woman on Raw. So Robert said mm-hmm. that Alicia Fox is still around because she's the Bob Holly of the women's division. No, that's oh. Natty. Watch that's how Natty. stiff her matches are with Sasha. That's Natty. <laughs> Natty's the Bob Holly. No, but I, I love crazy Alicia Fox. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. It's so good. It's a, it's really coming in its own. It's, it, built, it's built with the... The the her and Noam Dar poor Noam Dar who hasn't done anything since right um but uh but it was fantastic yeah who'd have thought that she was the one that was gonna get a rub off of that I know right <laughs> <laughs> but um, she but was the I, star of it yeah I yeah guess. she was always the star of it like even even the FaceTime stuff when she was screaming Noam while he was <laughs> not out right. as awkward as that was and technically unsound uh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I had some technical issues with those. No, segments. right. Yeah, they did work. Technicalities. Yeah, yeah. Like, Although, it, 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 does, it, does, it doesn't it work does, that that's way. That's not how it works. It does kind of suck that Alicia Fox has hijacked Kyrie Sane's gimmick a little bit. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. <laughs> I remember what the new next ride along was. Hmm. Oh, it's Rusev and Lana. Oh, Jesus. And, oh, 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 and Lana drops the accent. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wow. She does for Total Divas too, right? I yeah, don't I know. think I, I, don't, I don't think it. she has it for Total Divas. Yeah, yeah. So she, no, she she kind of slips in out of it on Total Divas. I think it's like this... Christian Joy didn't have it. Hmm? Christian Joy didn't have it for uh, Southpaw. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, I, I feel like I feel like her accent is like partially. Because she is Lithuanian. Yeah, and she, has legit, time, she has legitimate ties. Yeah, like, like she lived in Lithuania as a child, right. I believe. Right. So, yeah. so I, it's, it's based in a real place. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I'm saying, I'm saying it's, it's not It's not like, a, hey, I'm playing a Russian. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's real ties. Yeah. It, it, I'm playing, a, you know, that's relatively Russian. It's either Russian. Russian. Rus- it's Russian. Yes, yeah. it's Russian. Um, you know, so it's not it's not too far of a, a, right. a stretch. So yeah, I think and I think her, you know her parents are very you know from you know the from there. Just, so it's it it seems it as comes from an honest natural. place. Yeah. So tell me, I need to watch Total Divas. Is that what I don't? I've never seen it. I don't know. Yeah, um, I I don't, I don't know. I've finally given up on Total Divas. So. You you finally given up on Total Divas? <laughs> finally, I finally given up. I gave it up about the same time as I did Impact. I do. <laughs> 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 so 10 years ago? You oh, know boy. what? Sure. If we want an extra show for um, midweek, I would make Total Divas the the extra show before Impact. Only if you bring back Jen Carlin's that 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 tells like uh, weird dating dating stories with Matt Carlin's. Yeah, no, that, that would, would be great. an amazing segment. Well, that no, that's what they did. That's, no, that's what we did. They would do. They would review Total Divas for like the first like what two seasons, and then there there'd just be like some like. Old Carlin's dating story <laughs> as part of it. It's it was, pretty it was great, pretty, actually. Yeah, it was, they're, they're still out there on the YouTube. Some, so. some of those, some of those episodes got really a lot of views. Yeah, <laughs> for us yeah. talking about Total Divas. Hey, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Hmm. Garza. I learned that uh, there's still one thing that Vince McMahon cannot control, and that is Chris Jericho. Yeah, yeah that's true. that is true. That is oh, true. Anybody else, if anybody, you, don't, if anybody you else, don't think this is his trial match for WWE, you're... I was going to say, does anybody else think this is a scouting mission? Yeah. That is true. I yeah. think it's, it's, I like, think it's, it's like Regal mission. going out to California. Right. Like, we know why this is happening. It's like, it's like Nakamura and AJ both came over right after that match right basically. exactly so this is, hey see see what this guy's got yeah. kenny omega's number 30 in the rumble <clears throat> excuse me sorry i <laughs> coughed <laughs> they can oh, actually kenny. get the terminator theme for him yeah, yeah. how are they not getting <laughs> cease and desist on that one anyways <laughs> Kenny Omega versus Triple H with Arnold Schwarzenegger as the referee. There you go. There you oh, go. We'll sure. settle this once and for all. Right. Right. Burr, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned there are a lot of options. And I think sometimes we tend to forget that. There are a lot of options of good wrestling. Sometimes mm-hmm. so much. But, but with the Jericho Omega thing, there's just a lot out there. And I think right now, a lot of companies are pushing their chips to the center of the table and saying, we want in. Mm-hmm. All the dream matches that are out there, we're going to see it next week in Survivor Series or two weeks in Survivor Series. We're going to see it with Jericho Omega and, and some of the other things that are happening right now. There's a lot of good wrestling, and I think that 
the promoters know that right now. And now it's a better time than any just to put it all out there. Yep. Absolutely. Larry, what'd you learn? I learned January is probably going to be the best month of wrestling all year. Holy shit, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> Between that, the Rumble, and what else, what else is... The 25th you know? anniversary of Raw? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. geez, yep. yes. Yep. Wow. It's going to be a good month. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, man. I learned that... Um, Curtis Axel is probably the most over guy the Miz has ever had as his lackey. Okay. Like Curtis, Curtis Axel did nothing this week except right. stand in a neck brace for an injury we never saw him receive. What? And still, it's so from the never, choke slam. He got he got like a million yeah, power like, slams yeah. by Braun yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah. The power slam for reps, like three like or four. Like, like, six yeah. of them. Yeah, like five. three or four in a row. Five, five, four, five, of the, four, four, four in the ring, five to the that table. That was at the end of Raw. Oh, that's right. Yeah, last yeah, yeah. Night. Maybe or mine the cut off before. then, because I don't remember seeing that. No, yeah, it was, yeah, at, the that end was, of, last that was week. at the end of Raw. Yeah. Okay, yeah. maybe mine cut off then. After the mini the mini movie with the garbage truck. Yeah, he destroyed okay, I don't destroyed remember that part them. of it. Okay, but yeah, but still, Curse Axel uh, is over as hell. And it's basically for doing nothing, except getting his ass kicked. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the chat, Jericho. Tina says Jericho's uh, not not the only one making outside appearances. Triple H is appearing at ICW yeah, as well. That's right. That was a good. That was that, that was a good promo. Around. Um, do do do. We have Alex Miller learned that uh, he wants a dream match of Kenny Omega versus Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. Yes, and uh, Fashion Police versus Young Bucks. Also yes. Yeah. yeah. Also yes. 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 Oh, yes. that's the two B. Buck and Buck. Oh, I like oh, it. I like that's it. That's the 2B. That's great. Buck and Buck. <laughs> Brandon, learned oh. that, Brandon learned that any dream match can happen uh, in the wrestling world. That's for sure. Yep. That's for sure these days. Uh, and Robert learned that we need more UK guys beating up Enzo. Yes. Yeah. You never have enough of those. Uh, Wheels learned that he really enjoys WB 2K18. I'm loving uh, Wrestle Without Context is putting on, uh, putting like really weird uh designs up on yeah, twitter creative really? wrestlers. like they're really? creative yeah. wrestlers like there was like like throwback 2001 enzo with like an xfl jersey on really yeah, yeah right. like, like stuff like that uh, so i guess if you follow the wrestling without uh, context on on xbox live okay. or i think it is uh you can you can find all the weird stuff that they're making uh, a buddy a buddy of mine did uh, i guess with legitimate characters this random tag team tournament simulator thing and some of the some of the teams he's coming up with are hysterically random I think like the, the Andre the Giant and Rhino, like once a tournament he simulated. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a Southpaw team. I, it really yeah. does. Yeah. I also learned that USA Network Show Damnation is booking Luke Harper better than WWE is booking Luke Harper. Yes. They okay, are. They're, they're booking a period. Oh, and um, Sword, did you mention that tonight, um, as soon as this show is over, everyone should go watch the 30 for 30 with Ric yes. Flair? Yes. Yes. yes absolutely. Okay. And you go find where I can watch that. So I, I have a DVR. I think you can watch it on the ESPN app. Okay. You can watch yeah. the ESPN app anytime, I think. Yeah. And usually they replay it at midnight, too, which is in a few minutes. It's, all right. Got to wrap the show up. What, <laughs> the hell, go, 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 go. what the hell did I learn from wrestling this week? Right, so. I learned that, uh, you know, I, I always complain every time we have to go to Clearfield for IWC. But, it, you know, I, and I do. I, I complain <laughs> a lot about that. Uh, but, but again, you know, much like it, it, not in the same vein of RWA. Right. But it's one of those crowds that really appreciates. Like, I'm just sitting by equipment, and guys like come up to me and talking about how great it is that the guys come like twice a year. Sure, it's amazing, and it, it, you know to see that kind of thing. And we see that yeah. when we go up to Meadville once a year. Um, you know, a little bit of Roll Valley as well. Uh, you know, these outskirt towns that don't get wrestling, and then they get something like IWC comes in. We take it for granted. Yeah, I yeah, think definitely, yeah. definitely working. You know, it's, it's almost like a force on the streets kind of thing. We definitely take it for granted because, you know, I do the RWA once a month. You do all the stuff you do for Sorgatron Media. And, you know, we do it. We do our thing. But to see the fans react to it, mm -hmm. sometimes we, do, we take that for granted. We know the regulars do their thing. But it's it's the people who show up for the first time. And, and they've never seen a live wrestling event, event mm -hmm. before. And, oh, my God, this is amazing. Or the little kids. The, the little girl in the front row. I was dressed up like Macho Man Randy Savage, right. like cowboy hat Macho Man Randy Savage. Right. was adorable this weekend. Uh, right, like and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? it, it's fun stuff. It, it, the last RWA show, a girl I think she was like maybe fourteen or fifteen came up to me during intermission, 
first time she's ever been to a, to a, 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 re, a live wrestling show. She said it was the most amazing thing she's ever seen. She's never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. it. Just there was a palpable joy in her eyes when she was talking about it. She was almost glowing about it. And that's and that's something that you know you don't you hope to see as much as possible. But when you do see it on the individual level, it's really special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know you know especially there you know seeing things like that. There was a birthday. Uh, where they had a cake before the before yep. the, the event, and the enemy eats came out and you know gave her a hug and everything, mm -hmm. you know, or made her or, world. you know, I always say like you it know made her world the the one like Halloween, uh, October IWC where like two kids came as like gory and facade. Oh yeah, like dressed as that. I'm just yeah. like, and I think you know, I think one was a girl, or like I think the facade was a girl or something, right? And it was just like you know, it's it's, it's awesome it's cool. because these are again you know for the kids especially like this is their own John Cena. Right, it absolutely these, is these because people it, in the it, ring. it's a real palpable thing. I'm yeah, I'm as far away from you right now, sitting mm. as these fans are from people that yeah, yeah. They, they never would connect with otherwise. Mm -hmm. and there's a connection that's there. There was something uh, one of the wrestlers uh, 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 back, in, I think when I was first at RWA, was like, "Hey, this thing is happening." This, he was in the main event. He was like, "This thing is going to happen. Make sure you do this. Mm -hmm. but, you know, get the reaction because this is their WrestleMania." Right, which is which is right. You know? it, it really is. Yeah. And when when we I know we joke about the fans boo me of course, but when the one fan comes up to me during intermission and says, "Man, we boo you," but I I just don't know why. I'm like, <laughs> then I'm doing it right. You got the John Cena rub, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then keep doing it, brother. Keep just keep. He's the, the most you know, polarizing you're, you're the most announcer polarizing. in executive, professional executive wrestling. Executive, executive right. announcer right, yeah. in professional wrestling. Absolutely. Uh, well, <laughs> Bert Legrand, it's always great to have you here on it's the show. Always great to be here. Yeah, so you get your opinions on wrestling in the world. Uh, where can people see you online? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> it was Twitter, but I gave that up. Uh, <laughs> just Facebook me. Find me. Find me through Sorg. Find me through uh, anywhere. Just uh, I'm around. Call, be, call Sorg. He'll get there might be a guy that looks like him out there, too. There so might be a guy. Maybe. Yes, yes. Maybe a guy. They call him Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> also, Larry. Hey. He's here every Tuesday. Yeah, that's where you find them online. <laughs> yep. Here, right here, at wrestling Show. Right here at 1619 Broadway Avenue, uh, <laughs> through the window. Press your nose, it gets wave at him. Also, Tony Garza, WrestlingRevolution dot com. Anything cool coming up? Yeah. You want to you want to put out there? Ah, uh, not really. Uh, I don't really have any shows uh, coming up this weekend, so. It's a free weekend. Yay! <laughs> go go go! Hit him up at uh, uh, the W Revolution on Twitter. Is that right? Exactly. That's one. It's been a while since I typed it out, so I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so, and also, of course, Mad Mike, who is slinging toys in Poughkeepsie, New York. I am doing that. I am encouraging every child to buy the uh, hundred dollar Raw Women's Championship replica, and no one has bought yet. Well, then you're going to have to wear it home someday. I mean, potentially. It's a nice I looking bell for whatever gender you are. So. My discount does work on it. There you so. go. There and you actually, go. Actually, it would be for my penis because my penis, much like Joey Ryan's, is also a female. Well, <laughs> Wrestling <laughs> Mayhem Show. Thank you so much, everybody, oh, for joining us. Thank you for the chat room that's been rocking all night. Robert, Tina, Alex, Brandon, Wheels, and the whole crew. Uh, that's been hanging with us here on the Tuesday celebration. The cops are rolling by. It's time to get out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. They better not touch my car either. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.